Vaikra. And God called on Moshe. And he told them about offerings, sacrifices. Imagine bringing an offering, a sacrifice to God, taking the fat, taking the blood, and bringing them as an offering to Hashem. But why does God need sacrifices? What's a sacrifice? Well, the world was created yesh me'ayin. In Latin, that's ex nihilo. From nothing to something, God created the world. And therefore, God maintains the world every moment. The moment a person takes a part of him, a part of his fat, a part of his blood, and he gives it as an offering, he's actually making the something into nothing. He's actually doing what's called a sacrifice, a korban. And the word korban is a very interesting word. It comes from the word karov. Karov, which means to be close. And at the same time, it's the same letters as the word rikavon, which means to rot. Because the process is very simple. The way a person can get close, can be happy, can enjoy a fusion with God, is when he erases himself. When one, before going to sleep, takes the time to think, what did I accomplish today? What could I have accomplished today? How can tomorrow be better? Instead of watching the news and all type of foolish things and negative media, imagine going to sleep with that idea. Let it sink into your subconscious mind and wake up happy and closer to God, closer to your mission. That's what a sacrifice is all about. And that's why, when they offer the sacrifices, David HaMelech says, Robemot el bigronam, the greatness of God was in their throat, meaning they spoke about, they praised Hashem, vecherev pifiyot biyadam. And they held a double-edged sword, double-edged, for the fat that we offered and for the blood that we offered. Blood is hot. It represents the passion we have about materialistic things, physical things. Fat represents the coldness of man. When we are not so excited to do the right thing, we push ourselves away. The purpose of man is to cut this away. To take the fat, to take the coldness and become cold to things which are materialistic. And to become passionate about godliness and holy things. That is the true sacrifice we want to offer Hashem.